Hello, all you coin collectors out there, and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today, we're going to take a look at some Australian coins from 1968. Uh, and we're going to look at the one cent, the two cent, the five cent, the ten cent, and then we're going to actually look at a 1967 20 cent coin. Uh, I just didn't happen to have the 68 uh, coin right handy. Um, so I just put a 67 in, but uh, I'll talk about the 68 characteristics and errors. Um, and then we'll also talk about this, which is another 1968. Uh, and it's another 10 cent coin. Um, and I want to talk to you about the difference between this 10 cent and this 10 cent. But first, let's just start at the top. <clears throat> in 1966, Australia moved to decimalization of the Australian pound. So instead of having 240 of these babies to an Australian pound. And this is an older one. But look how big it is. This is big all these coins put together almost. That's the kangaroo. That's a 55. Uh, they made this until 65. Um, and here's Queen Elizabeth II, her first portrait, a 27-year-old Queen Elizabeth. Well, they had this coin, and they moved to this one. Now, there is a little bit of a size differential, if you'll let me, uh, I don't even think you can cover up the whole queen with it. So this is the new one cent coin. And the one below it was the was its predecessor, the uh, one penny coin um, from before 1966. And this is the 68. So if we look at the back of the 68 one penny coin, it's a little busy here, I know. We look on the back and we see this kind of beautiful little animal. And that animal, of course, is the feather-tailed glider or the Acrobates pygmaeus or the pygmy gliding possum. And Stuart Devlin designed this and did a, just a great job. And you can actually see his initials, his engraving initials, SD, right down here. And uh, this coin was made uh, starting in 1966 and made until 1984. In 1968, they made 19.93 million, or essentially 20 million of these coins. Next up was the two-cent coin. And when we look at the two-cent coin, we see same image on the front. 1968 again, we see that there's the queen. This, of course, is the second portrait, the same second portrait that was on uh, the one-cent coin. And it says Elizabeth II. Australia 1968 and when we look at this second portrait which is on these coins that's of course the Arnold Machen or Macon portrait uh, he's the engraver of it and if we flip to the back we'll see that it is another Stuart Devlin design and we can see the SD right down here for Stuart Devlin who engraved this particular coin I'm not sure whether he actually designed it too but he certainly did the engraving and it's just a beautiful engraving Let's see if we can get that light to kind of work a little bit better in our favor. Uh, the sun's kind of blasting in and out here, so we're getting a little bit of uh, extra light sometimes. So Stuart Devlin engraved this, and it's a bronze coin, as is the, um, the one cent coin, uh, or one penny coin. And they made about 17 million of these in 1968 for general circulation. And this on the back here is, of course, the frilled dragon, which they have in Australia in southern New Guinea, or the frill-necked lizard. Next in line, of course, is our five-cent coin. And when we get to the five-cent coin, we start changing. And so you can kind of see the difference in the... I'm going to put that light down a little bit. There you go. You can really see the difference in the... Um, makeup of these coins. So this is a bronze coin and this is a copper nickel coin here. It's almost a silverish to it when you get it really shined. And so for the five cent coin, again Queen Elizabeth II on the front, this was made again from 66 to 84. And the reason that they, they didn't stop making it in 84, they just changed the portrait on it from the Arnold Machen second portrait to a third portrait. With the five cent coin, uh, Australia's economy was just starting to boom in 1968. 
they made 67.3 million of these. And if we get onto the back, we see that this is a spiny ant eater with the, its nose peeking out from under the five. And again, way down here at the bottom, if we get a little bit more light so we can see that better, is the initials, or are the initials SD. And again, another Stuart Devlin design for this. Let's see if we can just get it straight up and quit messing with the light, huh? Sorry about that. So this coin is, as you noticed, is quite smaller than, the five cent is quite a bit smaller than the two cent coin. And of course, the Australians don't call it a nickel. Um, it is a five cent coin in Australia. This one has a reeded edge where the one and two cent had a smooth edge. That transitions us up to the 1968 10 cent coin. And again, Queen Elizabeth on the front. And the 10 cent coin has another animal, actually a bird on this one. And on the 10 cent coin, which is again a copper nickel coin, we see that it has, uh, of course, the Arnold Machen portrait on the front, but then on the back it has, it almost looks like a bird of paradise, but it's not. It's what's called the male superb lyre bird. Um, and it has the 10 over it. So these are actually the feathers. And down in here you can see a little tail, and there's a bird in there somewhere. And just a beautiful design again. We see right down here that we see the SD for the Stuart Devlin. Now I'm going to show you the 1967 uh, 20 cent coin because I didn't have the 68. But it's essentially the same back. A little harder to get the 20 cent coins because people just love these uh, duck-billed platypuses which are on the back of these. And there's the 20 here. And again on the 20 cent coin that once again we have the Stuart Devlin engraving of the platypus and the number 20 on there. Now, to go back to these 10 cent coins, I did a video on these because what happens is sometimes you get a 10 cent coin and you get a 10 cent coin with a smooth edge. And then you get a 10 cent coin with a reeded edge. These are both from 1968. So you're going, what the heck happened here? Well, I'll tell you what, if you get the light just right, you can actually see some of the reading in this one. And what's happened is, uh, Probably a machine, um, maybe it was put into a, a, like a, a soft drink or soda machine, maybe it was put into a laundry machine, maybe it was put into elec electricity or um, one of those coal or burning stove machines. But anyways, you can't really see the reeds on here, but they're, they are there. So if you find a 1968 that looks like it has a smooth rim on it, um, just know that it's not, didn't come that way. These were all had reeded edges, but some of these uh, earlier 10 cent coins just got um, smoothed out so much that it looks like they had a smooth edge. All right, so there's our 10s, there's our 20, there's the 5, the anteater, and then there's the lizard, and there's, oops, can we stick them in there? There's Queen Elizabeth, and on the back, we see, of course, essentially what looks looks to us in, in the United States like a possum. Um, but it's really a, it's, it's a pygmy possum. And then finally, we see the old penny with the kangaroo on it. All right. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Uh, we hope you enjoy this videos. And we'd love to have you... Um, Subscribe to our channel, leave any comments you might have in the comments section. And hi to Gregory, hope you're still listening in Australia from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel.